Woodland Elementary School is a learning environment for young people every day of the school year. But this weekend, the classroom looked a lot different. For instance, this is normally the music room, but today it is a training ground. These students are a group with a few more life experiences under their belts. Dozens of law enforcement, fire department, and emergency medical personnel were gathered for what's called three echo training. We look at hostile events as active shooters, active assailants, post blast, and we're taking multiple disciplines of police, fire, EMS, and we're working in schools and businesses and that to organize in a community and within your region, the greater region with mutual aid partners, to start thinking strategies and tactics to come together to save lives in these type of tragic events. The three echo trainers wearing the lime green colored vest are each highly trained in a variety of areas. They provide their students with a little bit of classroom training for everything from how to apply a tourniquet to, to recognizing explosive devices to strategies in and out of an incident. Rescue team up! A big part of the training is much more hands-on, with the trainers scattered throughout the building and more than a dozen volunteer victims, the law enforcement, fire, and EMS personnel were challenged to handle whatever was presented to them, and I mean everything. There were post-bomb scenarios, active shooters, and plenty of reasons for multiple agencies to work through it together. Mayor Sarah Carlson was one of several dignitaries who were on hand to observe the training. She's encouraged by the teamwork. It doesn't happen all that often, so to see everybody collaborating like this is really, really remarkable. And I've been here and I've watched all the entities working together and when you see it in action it's absolutely amazing. The likelihood that any of these situations will ever happen in our area seems unlikely but even for the law enforcement students volunteering as victims they realize the importance of preparedness. This kind of gets you ready for the worst case scenario because you always need to be ready for um, what's going to happen, what could happen. Cause, I mean not every shooter is going to come in and like take tons of lives or you could come in and they could surrender right away. I mean, you just need to expect the worst out of the small scenario. In total, each person was exposed to 12 hours of training. Each room of the school presented them a new challenge to overcome and a new opportunity to work through it together. For The Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Krakowski.